गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू अनादर वीडियो दिस इज द टू थाउजेंड एंड सेवेंटीन स्कॉडा ऑक्टाबिया वी आर एस एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंट टू बी रिव्यूंग इट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ इज एक्सटीरियर इज इंटीरियर इज प्रैक्टिकलिटी वॉट आर द चेंजेस डन टू इट ओवर द स्टैंडर्ड ऑक्टाबिया बट फर्स्ट आई वॉन्ट टू थैंक मिस्टर अश्वेक बुवी फॉर लेंडिंग मी ही स्कॉडा ऑक्टाबिया वी आर एस एंड विद दैट सेड एंड डन लेस कंटिन्यू विद द वीडियो राइट अवे with the design of the Skoda Octavia so I got the Skoda logo here the new one you have got this butterfly grill with the VRS badging there you have got this front parking sensors here you have got the front tow hook you have got headlamp washers as well in the headlights itself they are all LEDs and they have got DRLs in them and they are split headlights which was the design for the 2017 Octavia and look it looks really nice actually you have got some fake vents over here but the vents over here for the radiators are real then from the side also the octavia looks really nice and it is similar to the regular octavia but the changes are the wheels that 17 inch diamond cut alloy wheels the profile of the tires is 225 45r 17s and you have got red brake calipers as well and the brakes are also upgraded over the standard octavia they are 340 mm disc at the front with two piston calipers and at the back they are 330 mm disc with one piston caliper then there is this strip running across the side of the car which makes it look really bold actually then coming to the back you have got this spoiler for the octavia and you have got the vrs badging again and you have got these additional uh, exhaust tips as well so they are sports exhausts and they are just a uh, exhaust surround but it's not completely fake and it looks cool as well now got this diffuser treatment over here for the octavia vrs or the standard octavia now got this c shape headlights which are there on the regular octavia as well and the overall design of the octavia vrs does look really nice and it's really imposing as well so i would say the design of the octavia is really striking and especially this blue color helps it look even more striking uh, inside of the skoda octavia vrs you can see the changes from the regular octavia you have got sporty dial you have got a um, more sporty vrs sharing wheel with vrs badging here and red stitching then you have got aluminum pedals as well you have got this carbon fiber treatment over here and on the center console you have got this red stitching on the gear lever and vrs badging there and the main difference is this sporty seats which has alcantara and leather and they are really supportive they are really comfortable as well lovely seats there yeah. and let's turn on the octavia now yeah it rose to life it says skoda right there so let's um, go through the features of the octavia So, going through this instrument cluster, you can press this button and browse through different stuff. So, driving data. You can go to vehicles. You can go to your phone information. You can go to media as well. Let's go to driving data right now and show the range, the consumption from the beginning, oil temperature, the digital cluster, the average speed, the distance, and all that stuff. You have got a speedo analog speedometer. You got a tachometer. You got a fuel meter, and also a temperature meter, which is nice. Then through these, you can control the main infotainment system, which I will turn on now. Yeah. And this infotainment system uh, has got a lot of features. It's the same as which is there in the regular Octavia. It's a 18 inch unit. and it's got some new things for this car as well which i'll go through in a bit but you have got radio you have got media you can go through phone and you also have got navigation apple carplay android auto which you can go through selecting apps you can go through them see here you can go to car and you can see your fuel consumption and uh, driving data here itself so you can just browse through this and you can also select what all you want so you can go and see convenient system so if i turn on the air conditioning see it will show me how much uh, how the air conditioning and how much the uh, car is the consumption of the car as well which is really nice 
and we go to vehicle status and it will show the engine stop start and it will show the tire pressure monitor also and you can go to settings and there are various settings for this car so you can go for the ESC so you can complete put it on you can put it off or you can put it in sports as well you have got tire again so it will give you a warning over certain speed as winter tires then you have got light settings so you can uh, set your headlights how you want them you can uh, set on the DRLs as well and even it's got automatic headlights which are good and you can set them if you want them on or off you have got driving assistance as well over here so which is turned on at the moment you have got parking and maneuvering which is it's got uh, automatic parking so which is park assist basically so it will uh, find a parking place for you without you trying to control the car so it will just uh, go into a parking space on its own so it is all that information of the and all the settings of the car uh, over here you know got background lighting which is basically ambient lighting so mood lighting you can grow you can choose between these colors over here yeah these are all various colors and you can see it's changing so currently it's day so you can't see the light strips which are here but maybe at the back you can no you can see the back also I'm just going to show you the cluster so it's blue right now if I change the color changes so I'll make it to orange and you can see the color change to orange we'll just zoom in a bit and show you yeah see the color is changing so that will happen at night you can see the color properly inside the car as well and it looks really nice now you can uh, do the door settings also you can show the instrument cluster and also you can see the seats so a lot of functions and you can just go in menus generally and go through whatever settings you want to the relate um, the infotainment system by skoda is really slick and easy to use as well so yeah really nice now let's go through the practicality bits of the octavia so we have got a large door bin so let's fit my bottle and see if it fits yeah it fits perfectly well and it's lined with felt also so things don't rattle like your keys and all in the door bins now got this dustbin over here which is a clever feature by skoda so you can just put maybe some wrappers or something if you've eaten in the car and then i've got cup holders here which i've kept the key in right now and then the armrest also is big enough and it's deep you can slide it in front as well how, how you like it then the glove box also is big enough and there is uh, stuff kept in it right now and it's cool as well so you can maybe keep your drinks if you want then even your sun visor has got a mirror over there and it's got your mirror there's a mirror over here for the sun visor as well which is nice and then one more party trick is that there is one more storage compartment here secret storage compartment so yeah you can keep some uh, maybe your wallet or something over there so that no one will suspect it to be there and then you can see the seats also i didn't mention that these seats are electric and memory functions so you have got three memory functions and these are eight way electrical seats even the driver's co driver seat is electric so you can see that right there now let's play an audio to show you how the audio system is <laughs> So the audio system also in the car is really nice, audio clarity is really good. So yeah, overall the interior of the Skoda Octavia is also really nice and yeah, let's check out the back seat now. So now in the back seat of the Skoda Octavia, you can see I've got decent amount of knee room and leg room as well and the seat is in my driving position and I'm very comfortable back here. I'm 5 foot 8 and even headroom is decent enough for me you can see. So it's really spacious in the back. You can also fold down this armrest and you can keep your hand like this and I've got cup holders here as well, which is nice. I've got this RS pillows as well. And again, you've got this RS sport seats with Alcantara over here, which are really nice with red stitching again. And yeah, it's quite comfortable back here. Uh, the only issue if i would say is that i can't put my leg below this seat to stretch out but that's just a minor complaint because yeah, it's more than roomy enough for me i'm just you know nitpicking right now 
but yeah then you've got your usb charging or you've got two usb ports you've got a uh, maybe a mobile holder when you're charging what ac vents over here and i've got these magazine holders and door pockets again lined with felt let's just see if my bottle fits right now so yeah it's a tight squeeze but yes the bottle still fits so yeah one liter bottle can be fitted can fit inside the door pockets at the back of a Skoda Octavia VRS then yeah you can see the mood lighting now you can see that it looks really nice now got these blinds also from Skoda so they are magnetic blinds so you can remove them when you want which is really nice so yeah the back seat also gets a thumbs up from me it's really nice spacious and comfortable and practical as let's well. check out the Octavia's boot so the boot is really big and it's the same size as the regular Octavia which is 590 liters and it's really spacious as well you can keep your luggage aram say you can keep a lot of stuff and you can open this floor and I'll remove this mat yeah. and below over there you can see your jack and you can also see your spare tire which is a 125 70 18 so it's kind of small but then yeah you won't get a big tire over here and you can also fold down the seats but you have to go all around and pull this lever down here yeah so then you can again go on the other side and fold that seat down to get a full uh, loading space of five one thousand five hundred and eighty liters which is big enough for most people and to even carry a bicycle actually so yeah, these are the main things why people buy the octavia because it's amazing practicality now let's check out the engine of the skoda octavia vrs so this has got the upgraded engine over the standard octavia petrol so instead of the 1.8 liter petrol engine it's got the 2 liter petrol engine and it produces 230 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque it's paired with a six speed dual clutch automatic gearbox it has launch control and it is front wheel drive it should do 0 to 100 in about 6.8 seconds as well which is quite quick and now if you want to see all the stats of the engine pause the screen now as i'm going to put a layout do you want to hear the sound of this engine well of course you do let's fire it up so let's hear this bad boy you get pops also <laughs> it sounds really sweet So now it's time for the verdict. Well, the Skoda Octavia VRS has a really imposing design. It has got a good built out interior, lots of features, lot of space as well, good practicality and it's quite fast. With all of this, it makes it an overall winner and a great car. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. I'll see you guys in the next video real soon. Bye bye and take care.